we're going to change out, replace the receiver dryer. This is it. If your system is open, meaning you had a leak, or you're repairing your system, or changing another part, you always want to change the receiver dryer. Whenever you work on an AC system, you want to wear safety glasses. That system is under high pressure when it has refrigerant in it, so wear some safety glasses. The first thing she's going to do is loosen these two 10 millimeter bolts on top. Then she's going to loosen the bolt down there to the bracket. And the reason you want to leave the bracket second is you need that receiver dryer to be in a secure position to loosen these two bolts on top. Now she's going to loosen the bracket down at the bottom with a 10 millimeter socket. That's what it looks like, y'all, with the receiver dryer out. You know, you loosen these two bolts before you loosen the bolt on the bottom. Loosen that bolt on the bottom. Remove these two bolts. Push these lines to the side a bit. And then slowly turn that out and up. All right, y'all. You see this black O-ring right here? There's going to be one on each line. This line and that line. You want to remove those and replace them with the O-rings that came with the receiver dryer. The O-rings are attached to the receiver dryer. You take them off, put yourself a little bit of this PAG oil on them. We're using PAG, P-A-G 46. That's the lubricant for this system. The O-rings that came with the new receiver dryer aren't as thick as those that are on the car. So we're going to leave the black ones on, put a little PAG oil around them, because we want the thicker O-rings. Y'all are going to have to make the decision about what you want to do there. So sisters just put a little pag oil around those O-rings. Now she's going to put the receiver dryer back in. You want to make sure these lines, this one and that one, fit snugly in those two holes. Make sure they line up with the screw holes right there. Just going to put the bolts back in. If those bolts don't want to go in, if they fight you, back it off and then go in again. Snug those bolts, but she's not going to torque them yet. Now she's going to hand tighten the bolt on the bracket. Now she's going to tighten the bolt at the bottom.
Now she's going to torque these two bolts to 48 inch pounds per the Toyota manual. Now your receiver dryer's in. But right now we're gonna put the lines on, the high and low, and do a final vacuum to see if the system holds with the repairs we've done. All right, y'all, and that's how we replace a receiver dryer on a vehicle AC system. Hope it helps, and happy DIYing.